Here's a short clip on the production of creme patissiere, otherwise known as pastry cream. Pastry cream is essentially a thickened custard. It's used to fill things like Paris breasts or eclairs, often flans and tarts, and can also be the basis of souffles. The process starts by scalding some milk over a gentle heat. The milk is scalded with a little bit of vanilla for flavour. Then we beat some egg yolks, some caster sugar, and a little bit of flour. It doesn't matter what type of flour really. It's important that we beat them well. If we leave the sugar in the egg yolks for too long, we'll find that we'll end up with a slightly small specks of, of yellow throughout our end product. That's because there's been a chemical reaction between the egg yolk and sugar. So it's important to beat them well and lightly cream them. Then we pour over the scalded milk, whisk gently. This process is called tempering. Once it's all incorporated, we'll then look at placing that back into the pot and cooking it out taking care to make sure we get all the last remnants from the bowl. We return that then to a moderate heat and gently whisk it back to the boil or a gentle simmer. It's important that we whisk it. This helps prevent the lumps forming in the pastry as it comes to the heat. Some people will say to use a wooden spoon. What we do tend to do is once the creme patissiere has come back to the, a gentle simmer, we turn it down and we cook it out for about another five minutes. We actually cook it out using a wooden spoon. It's too hard on the whisk once it's thickened, but the wooden spoon really gets it off the bottom. There we have it, whisking it back to the boil. Once it's cooked, we then turn it out into a clean container, and we can either glad wrap or dust that with sugar to prevent the skin forming, and it's now ready for use.